All right. Here now to respond to Speaker McCarthy's ousting is Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks to explain why this was a bad move, in her opinion, for the Republican Party. Congresswoman, thank you for joining us. You'll take the other side of uh, Mr. Gates, I, I assume. Tell us why you think this was a mistake. Well, first of all, I didn't hear Speaker McCarthy mention Mr. Gates that much, so he must have a very inflated sense of himself. Uh, but let me just say why I thought it was a bad move. We have been tremendously successful in the nine months Kevin McCarthy has been Speaker. We have passed single bill appropriations, which was agreed upon and has been done. Often the rule was held up by Representative Gates and others uh, of his coalition, as he said. Uh, we have passed a parent's bill of rights. We have passed bills prohibiting boys from playing in girls' sports. We have had record $2 trillion spending cuts. We have uh, passed a bill to fund our military with a 5.2% increase, the greatest increase in two decades. And I'm a military veteran. My father was in the military. I'm a military family. This was hugely needed to be able to support our military members. So when you look at all that we have done, the appropriations bills that we have passed, uh, the debt limit negotiations that we were able to put forward that actually uh, brought down spending, cut spending, got permitting reform. Uh, it also uh, ended the pause and student lowering payment and put people back to work. We have been tremendously successful. We don't need to hand the keys over to the Democrats or to have, uh, you know, uh, individuals within our conference working with the Democrats to oust a speaker. I think it's counterproductive. And furthermore, in order for us to get our appropriations bills through, to get our budget bill onto the floor, we need to be able to be working. And this is just a distraction from the work that we still yet uh, have yet to do. Allow me to, to play devil's advocate here. Uh, speaker McCarthy, when he agreed to allowing one vote to vote to vacate the speakership, he promised to bring 12 appropriations bills. I believe he only brought four. He promised to vote on term limits. He didn't do that. And they balanced budget amendment. Whether he was able to do it or not, Congresswoman, it were the stipula stipulated terms of the agreement to get the gavel in the first place. So how can you come back and point the finger at Gates when, when it it's clearly was within Gates's warning or within reason to do such? Uh, Gates' move is a selfish move. It did nothing to help people. It's not doing anything to help to solve our debt. We control one half of one third of government. We do not control the Senate and we do not control the White House. He would not have gotten any better deal, any better budget cuts. Um, or any better negotiations. He is aware that he would not have been able to do that. And what's happening right now? Representative Gates and others are online fundraising off of this, and the Democrats are online fundraising off of this. So they're uh, having a very good time. Meanwhile, the rest of us are trying to decide who do we vote for speaker, where do we go from here, and then how do we get back on track on doing the job of the American people. We, there was never any agreement that the appropriation bills had to be passed by a certain period of time. If you look at the calendar for the House, that's really what we should be talking about, is the calendar of the House. You have, first, you're sworn in on January 3rd. Uh, then you have the uh, vote for the speaker because nothing can be done. Then you have to set up committees. The both parties have to agree to who the, who's on the committee. There's a whole big process. So committees aren't even set up to start looking at bills until mid-March or late March. Therefore, you have from mid-March until June. And there were appropriation bills that were put on the floor, put up for votes. The rules were voted down. We could have had appropriations bills passed. They don't want you to know that dirty little secret, however, that they brought down the rules voted against the rules of their own party so appropriation bills could not be voted upon. Got it. Congresswoman Marinette Miller-Meeks, thank you so much for joining us.